Blessing in disguise? The truck driver who hit me came to my house alone one day. He apologized, saying he was forced to attempt to kill me in partnership with the guard. He was so glad that I did not die. Though the accident disabled me for a year, paradoxically I gained momentum. The plot of local authorities became clear to everyone, and people realized that it was they who wanted to kill me. This caused me more fame than ever in the eyes of the people. The authorities backed off, leaving me alone for a while, and as a result, some fearful friends took a step of courage and rebuilt their relationship with me again. After I started to walk, a friend offered me a job at his business, but under another name, as it was illegal for me to work. It was a management position, and my salary reflected that. He took such a risk to help me because the local authorities had retreated from their pursuit of me at that time. This job not only met my family's financial needs, but also enabled me to save money. After several months, I bought a tractor and a truck and asked my younger brother to work them so that I could gain extra income. My brother started to plow the lands and carry sand for construction. Our income grew rapidly, and I invested in real estate under the name of another friend. Within a year, I became a millionaire according to the Iranian Rial. I took my wife and daughter to the city and lived in a rental house. I also started to build a house for my wife in the city. This made my wife happy and eased the tension in our marriage. At this time, she was pregnant with our second child. I also invested in my mother's house and finished it so that my younger brother could live with my mother as an appreciation of his role in making big money through the tractor. My mother did not need to sell milk or yogurt anymore. I made myself busy with investments to make money and also give false confidence to the authorities that I was going to live in Iran and wouldn't want to leave the country.